my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs i do want to apologize i know i'm a little bit behind um i've been extremely busy you guys have no idea and there's only one of me so i've been extremely busy um please note if you guys have emailed me and i have yet to you know contact you please be a little bit patient um you know around this time of year i am so extremely bombarded and my channel does continuously keep growing i thank you guys very very much humbly uh for coming to me for private consultations for spellcraft uh for candle magic you know thank you guys i am so thrilled and excited really excited uh to hear you guys getting quick results uh makes my heart just you know it's all worth it so thank you guys very much um, also, if you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. Uh, you can contact me to my email. Again, like I said, please be patient, though, if, in regards to me responding. Uh, anyways, um, I want to congratulate Scorpios. You guys were the third video with the most views, so kudos to you guys, uh, which is why this is the third video that's going up, because you guys were definitely on it for... Uh, last month or actually the beginning of this month so thank you guys very much let's get into your reading please um uh you know don't mind <laughs> i've been on and off trying to do the videos and working on the spell side of my craft so anyways let's get into this reading i've been shuffling the cards for quite a while now so let's see what spirit has for scorpios for the mid month of November 2017 regarding their love life. I will be pulling out four cards for you, four cards for the person you're dealing with or interested in, and the general situation or current situation. So let's get into it, Scorpios. Okay, your first card is the Five of Cups, Page of Swords, the World card, and the Knight of wands partners cards is the wheel of fortune or the wheel of the year the ten of wands the six of swords the knight of swords and current situation is the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles is a message coming through it could also represent communication being a little bit slow so for some of you guys for those of you scorpios that are single at the present time perhaps the person you're interested in you're starting to feel that that person is not as interested because they are very slow in communicating with you. Has absolutely nothing to do with that, though. So anyways, let's get into your reading. Five of Cups definitely represents... Um, I feel that for a lot of Scorpios, you guys are still dealing with people from the past. So what I mean by that is pretty much for those of you guys that are single at the present time, you're starting to communicate or wanting to communicate with someone or um, a new partner, someone that you perhaps are currently pursuing... Um, but based on the fact of past behaviors, uh, two things happen. Either you're at the present time, it's almost like you continuously keep comparing your partner, the person from the past, to the person you're dealing with at the present time, or any person thereof that comes into your life. So it's almost like you're dwelling on the past, or comparing, or trying to look for the same red flags that your other partner had, uh, just so you won't pretty much um, jeopardize your heart, uh, quote unquote. So you guys need to be careful with this, okay? Because the Page of Swords definitely, re these are your cards, and the Page of Swords definitely represents you're coming off either extremely rude or extremely blunt, that the persons you deal with are just, in, it's like you're looking for the red flags, but you're giving off the red flags. <laughs> so be very careful and mindful about that, you guys. You do have the world card here. So the world card definitely represents if you have not been, if you've been single for a while and you have not started a relationship, understand and know that at the present time, it has absolutely nothing to do with the universe. It has everything to do with you, Scorpio. So what I mean by that is pretty much to the point, you're not giving people the opportunity or you're not allowing yourself to open up um, almost like you're very sarcastic uh you you need to stop that okay that's cute and that's funny for people that are witty and are very quick you know to to give you comebacks that's fine maybe even challenging for some but for others it could just be a complete turnoff because you're coming off as arrogant and arrogance is not the same thing as confidence okay so you need to understand that please note that now the world card again it's endings your ending cycle has already begun 
It's like you're almost towards the end of the month. That ending cycle is already done. But you're still moving towards the future, looking towards the past. So you need to stop doing that. Now, you have the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands is a communication or message coming through. It could be a fire sign as well. Fire sign would be a Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries that you're dealing with. Um, the person from the past could have been a water sign or could have been an air sign. Water sign would be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, like uh, Cancer. Or it could represent a air sign as well, which would be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Again, the Knight of Wands is definitely, I do want to mention, you have two knights here. So the knights definitely represent competition. So for a lot of you guys, it could be that you're interested in a person, but you're not really putting yourself out there or you're not letting them know off the bat that you're interested only because you are intimidated that they may have other suitors. Um, when there is communication, though, you're extremely blunt or extremely forceful in the way you express yourself. And that's the reason why you're coming off a little bit of, you know, there's a little bit of arrogance there. So be very mindful and careful about that, uh, Scorpios. Now, your partner's cards or the person you're dealing with, the wheel of the year is, again, the ending cycle, uh, starting something new, but it is also a new beginning for them. Uh, the Ten of Wands represents uh, being burdened or being overworked. So, Scorpios, if you guys have been dealing with a person, a person that is an entrepreneur, a person that owns their own business, or a person that is, you know, business savvy, know and understand that the reason why they're slow in communicating up here with the Page of Pentacles has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's more so to do that they are over, overworked, overwhelmed with all the responsibilities that they have. Now, I see that this partner for some of you guys, um, the opportunity that you were dealing with this person, it could be also an earth sign. I do see Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo up here. So it could have been that, you know, it never really got to something serious or to getting to know someone on a deeper level. Only because, again, what I mentioned previously and the cards that are reflecting them, they have the Ten of Wands, so it's overburdened, feeling overworked. Uh, it could also represent that you were too hard or they felt that you were too hard to read or they just are extremely busy and on the go that you're just, when you communicate, you come off as almost um, cocky. There, there's some cockiness to it that they just decided to move forward okay so leaving you in the past and moving forward uh i do see communication from this person though as the knight of swords is here again two knights definitely represents competition it could be competition that they do have other suitors but i feel that they were most likely interested in you but based on the communication or lack of communication, they just decided to just continuously keep pushing it forward, okay? But I do see communication coming through on both sides. Now, if you were the cocky one up here, I feel that when you communicate with this person or this person communicates with you, they're the ones that are going to be a little bit more arrogant or they're the ones that are going to be a little bit more cutthroat in the communication only because they're not wanting to duel, uh, to deal with bullshit and they're cutting the bullshit. Now, it could be vice versa. It is a general rating, okay? Now, for those of you guys that are in a relationship or in a long-term committed relationship, the Five of the Cups definitely feels like the mourning of a relationship or the loss of a relationship. Or again, the message still applies that of you've been in a relationship, but you continuously keep projecting that from the past onto your new partner. And that's the reason why you guys have been a little bit, you know, uh, not being able to see eye to eye or there's a lot of, you know, miscommunication, again, has a lot to do with with you, Scorpio. Um, you need to stop doing that. You need to appreciate them for what they are and decide if this is a person I want to be with. Continuously try to love each other and give each other support and move forward, okay? The world card definitely represents feeling of achievement or feeling like you guys are finally uh, taking it to the next level. For some, it could even represent you guys recently moved in. It could represent um, a marriage or some type of plans of marriage, talk of marriage. The Knight of Wands here is definitely uh, messages or, you know, the passion being there, being present. Uh, the cards that represent them, how they're seeing you at the present time. The Will of the Year sees... Uh, Nazi, sorry. The wheel of the year definitely represents them seeing you as someone that's lucky, but almost like you make your own luck. You're very hardworking. The ten of wands definitely represents that. Um, for some, it could represent that, you know, it, it's a challenge. This relationship um, 
you know, personality wise, it could be a challenge, but you guys are deciding to move forward or this person is definitely deciding to make the best of it. And again, try the best they can to move forward in this relationship to calmer waters. The Knight of Swords, again, two knights definitely represents, again, like I said, um, competition, but it could also be uh, in reference to competition in regards to uh, work and finances so it could be that they are or your partner is on a mission basically or has set out a goal to make a certain amount or to grow in the relationship uh, to their company uh, trying to escalate trying to go up the ladder and they definitely have that type of determination again it's been on the process it's been a process but it definitely does manifest or will be manifesting as you do have two positive cards here the wheel of the year and the world are both the ending cycles or the pivotal moment of achievement so i definitely see a lot of um exciting opportunities for you guys okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe if you're interested in private readings look at the description box below and we'll see each other uh soon okay bye